The dog is a domesticated descendant of the wolf, also called the domestic dog. It is derived from the extinct Pleistocene wolf, and the modern wolf is the dog's nearest living relative. Dogs were the first species to be domesticated by hunter-gatherers over 15,000 years ago, before the development of. You've decided to bring a dog into your family, but now it's time to choose a breed. This can be a difficult process with lots of factors to consider. Different breed of dogs. The IED was bred as a livestock guardian, protecting herds of sheep and goats. It is a powerful dog that is also agile, alert, and ready for action. As it is a sensitive breed, the dog needs to be given appropriate training from a very young age. Notoriously clever and stubborn, Airedales are tricky simply because they've got a typical terrier temperament in a large dog body. Terriers are known for being independent sinkers and voracious predators. The Akita Inu, bred in the mountains of Japan, is a very independent and headstrong breed. They were meant to be hunting dogs, so their hunting instincts are likely to kick while around smaller animals. These fascinating dogs have a powerful prey drive. Akitas were originally bred to hunt wild animals, and if not trained properly, they can become aggressive. Though the Alaskan Malamute and the Malamute are different breeds together, there are many similarities between the two. They are both very active and strong dogs. The American Bandog is a mix between a Neapolitan Mastiff and a Pit Bull Terrier. They have something called British Canine Temperament, which means they have a high stimulus threshold and pack mentality. The American Bulldog is a breed that is known to be courageous and fearless. They can be aggressive at times when they feel they are being threatened. This breed requires comes with some of the most vigorous exercise requirements of them all. They're prone to jumping and rowdiness, and they'll become very destructive when bored. High-spirited and cheery, American Eskimo dogs make great companion pets because of their well-behaved and friendly disposition. They're loyal to their humans, but can be stubborn and prone to excessive barking. Protective and territorial, but also intelligent, patient, and profoundly loyal, these muscular avengers are prized as working guard dogs without equal. The Australian cattle dog also goes by the name Blue Healer or Australian Healer, but whatever the breeder or the shelter calls him, he's not the ideal fit for a brand new dog owner. Australian Shepherd Contrary to its name, the Australian Shepherd originated in North America and was bred as a herding dog in the western states around the time of the gold rush. A Basenji is a poor choice for a family pet. Owners of the high-strung breed are known to share stories of its mischievous acts of destruction. Basset hounds may be incredibly adorable, but they are also known to be notoriously stubborn, which makes training them quite a challenge. They may be very lovable, but their headstrong nature requires a lot of patience. Bavarians are social, intelligent dogs, and, much like other breeds, if not kept mentally stimulated they will become bored, unhappy, and destructive. Continued proper training, conditioning, and a lot of patience are required. The Rottweiler has been a successful police dog, herding dog, military dog, and therapy dog. This breed is highly trainable and very loyal. The Beagle an excellent hunting dog and loyal companion. It is also happy-go-lucky, funny, and thanks to its bleeding expression cute. This dog is not for the faint of heart. Bucerons are robust and muscular dogs with a strong presence. Reaching as high as 27 inches at the shoulder, these dogs can do quite a bit of harm. This strong and sturdy dog comes from the family of Belgian herders, and this one is the rarest. One of the most distinguishing things about this dog is the blackening around the nose which indicates a sharp and keen sense of observation. The Belgian Malinois is not a good breed for children, 
This dog was bred as a herder, and as a herder, he tends to bite or nip at kids as if to keep them in line. Bloodhounds are known for their big croup ears and long wrinkled faces, but they're also known for being headstrong, curious, and loving. The Borbo, or farmer's dog, came from South Africa in the 1800s as a protection dog. By 1938, they were used to guard industrial diamond mines. As the quintessential sheepdog, the Border Collie is revered for its herding instinct and ability because it is so well suited to the energy-intensive task of shepherding. This dog is a ball of energy and excitement. The Borzoi or Russian hunting sighthound is a Russian breed of hunting dog of the sighthound type. These beautiful dogs were once used for wolf hunting and until 1936 were known as the Russian Wolfhound. Boston Terriers are known for their boundless energy and fun-loving ways. They can provide endless entertainment with their silly antics. Always a popular commercial dog, we recognize the Bull Terrier with its familiar dense head as the target store mascot bullseye. The Bull Mastiff is a breed from 1860 East England that was used to protect the livestock on large estates from murderous poachers. It's a brave and powerful dog that weighs up to 130 pounds. The Canaan Dog is the oldest breed of pariah dog still existing and is abundant across the Middle East. They are rugged, agile, and apparently tireless, making them a nice fit for hikers and runners. This dog is intelligent, territorial, and makes a good watchdog. As a mastiff breed from Italy, the King Corso is a massive breed raised for hunting large game. As if this breed name was not long enough, the full name is Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog. It was used as a working dog on farms in northern Louisiana, and it was in charge of herding hogs to slaughter. This breed served its duty well, guarding sheep against wolves and herding flocks in the Eastern European Caucasus mountain region. As a territorial and aggressive dog, it defended diligently against wolves. They may look like a cuddle buddy, but they are formidable guardians and were bred to guard anyone or anything that they deem their family. Sesky Terriers were created by crossing a Scottish Terrier with a Sealyham Terrier. The goal was to have a Terrier that was suitable for hunting in the Bohemian forests of the Czech Republic. The Chihuahua was first discovered in 1850 and was named after the Mexican state in which it was found. The diminutive breed is the smallest of all dog breeds, weighing between 2 to 6 pounds and standing just inches off the ground. The Chow Chow has the personality of a cat aloof, independent, dignified, and sheds like one too. Its arctic coat makes the Chow Chow a bad fit for mild climates, and its dominant breed type makes it a bad fit for humans who want to be in charge of this adorable part teddy bear, part lion, and part black tongue chimera. Dalmatians were bred to run. Originally, they ran alongside horse-drawn carriages and ultimately were known for running with a fire brigade. These highly energetic dogs are big and strong and make outstanding guard dogs. But a Doberman Pinscher is not for anybody. It needs extensive training by a handler who is more dominant than the dog. The Dogo Argentino is another breed banned in the UK under the 1991 Dangerous Dogs Act. It was bred in Argentina to be a big game hunting dog for large prey like pumas. Dachshund is German for badger dog. The short-legged, long-bodied dog was bred to hunt badgers, chasing them down burrows. The dachshund was somehow able to outmatch its foe's tenacity. English foxhounds often get along well with horses and people, but due to their hunting background, they require a lot of exercise as they have a very active demeanor. This little fox-like dog is pretty fierce for its size, their sharp ears make this dog very alert.
Fankies or fans as they are nicknamed can be an excellent combination of a loving companion and a watchful guard. The Dutch Shepherd is a lively, athletic, alert, and intelligent breed, and has retained its herding instinct for which it was originally developed. Fox Terriers are fearless and have a reasonable amount of energy. Essentially, they have two moods. Either they can be very lazy and want to sleep, or they are energy bunnies and have a lot of energy to exert. Frenchies can't keep up on a job, can't swim, can't tolerate heat, and were bred to be lap dogs. As a brachycephalic, one of the squished-faced breeds, the Frenchie can't regulate body temperature and needs to be indoors in a climate-controlled area. Otherwise known as the French Mastiff, the Dog de Bordeaux is a working dog that was originally bred in the Bordeaux region of France. These dogs were mostly used as working dogs, as their size, strengths, and intelligence make them easy to train to do work around the farm. The Great Dane is an extremely large dog. It holds world records for being the tallest dog. Like St. Bernard, it is known as a gentle giant who drools a lot. It's playful and attentive to children, loves people, and is not overly aggressive. The Noble Greyhound is an ancient breed from Egypt or Greece, with long legs, an arched back, and a lean aerodynamic physique. This dog was built for speed. Harriers have been humorously called the Beagle on steroids. They're very athletic hunting hounds, and as such, favor being active, with a special affinity for exploring the outdoors. This is no easy breed and is not exactly ideal for new dog owners. These dogs lean toward the stubborn side and need quite a lot of attention. For owners who do spend their efforts on teaching this kind of dog the appropriate behavior, the reward has an incredibly loyal pet. Irish setters have a very high energy level. With their high spirits can make it difficult to train them for long periods. Shorter training sessions are most suitable for these upbeat, yet gentle dogs. With a heart as big as the rest of them, these tall doggos were initially bred to hunt wolves, and they may have a slight inclination to be aggressive towards other animals. Jack Russell is one tenacious terrier. It digs, barks, jumps, and hunts with relentless abandon. The Jack Russell Terrier J. Art was bred as a hunting dog. Your garden or living room is fair play if your J. Art is after prey. The Kango Shepherd dog breed was developed in Turkey for the purpose of working as a livestock guardian dog. Kangals cannot be expected to calmly welcome uninvited human guests on your property. Loyal and loving, Kerry Blue Terriers are strong-willed and love to be given a task to keep them busy. They have a complex temperament, which means this is not a good breed for a first-time or casual owner. This Japanese hunting dog has been described as extremely courageous. They have powerful predatory instincts and can often be spotted hunting smaller animals. They were originally bred for boar and deer hunting. The commander is deceptively small, cute, and cuddly as a puppy. Many have adopted one of these, only to find out that raising them requires very careful planning and consideration. Bred on Jindo Island in Korea, the Jindo is a hunting dog that's well known for its bravery and loyalty. Of course, hunting dog instincts mixed with bravery make a particularly nasty dog, especially if it isn't trained properly. Labradors may be America's most popular, but they can be difficult for an inexperienced dog owner to raise properly. Until they reach full maturity, they have a strong urge to chew and can be destructive if left on their own. A huge and powerful dog, yes, but the Leonberger is also known for his aristocratic grace and elegance. A Leonberger is a friendly dog, but nobody's fool. As watchdogs and all-around workers, they exhibit intelligence and sound judgment. 
It might be impossible to believe, but these dogs were originally bred to be indoor monastery sentinel dogs by Tibetan Buddhist monks. Yes, these tiny dogs are not scared off easily. If these dogs are left untrained, they can turn into aggressive little monsters. This breed looks very similar to the Siberian Husky. However, they are larger and are typically more dangerous by nature. They weigh between 75100 pounds and are 23 minus 25 inches in height. The Neapolitan Mastiff is a huge, powerful guard dog whose astounding appearance has intimidated intruders since the days of ancient Rome and it doesn't take more than a single glance to see why. Wary with strangers, the profusely wrinkled mastiff is sweet, placid, and steady among loved ones but may be difficult to control if they become territorial. These majestic guardians of startling appearance are massive, powerful dogs. Newfoundlands are gentle giants, but they can also be the toughest dogs to own if not well trained early on, as they can easily outmuscle most owners. In addition, Newfoundlands are definitely not a good match for those who want a tidy home, as they tend to slobber and also heavily shed twice a year. This breed is legendarily stubborn. Pekin Jews were bred to be lapdog companions by the ancient imperial family of China. It's very difficult to train a Pekin Jews since it believes it should be in charge and goes about this business with an entrenched obstinacy. This dog may even bite if it is disciplined harshly. This breed originated in the Canary Islands as a livestock dog. Its duty was herding cattle and hogs and running off, and even killing, predatory dogs in protection of the herd. Vet Street highly recommends this dog only for owners who are familiar with training dogs. The Pit Bull is not a breed meant for everybody. They are strong dogs with extremely powerful jaws. If they are socialized and trained properly, these dogs make ideal watchdogs and exceptional family pets. The Feral Hound is an athletic breed whose name derives from its appearance, which resembles that of ancient Egyptian sculptures. As a breed who's exceptional at jumping, which means you should have a high fence to prevent them from leaping out of the yard and wandering off. It's nearly impossible to resist their sweet, charming nature or even their soft fur. However, Pomeranians will find their owner absolutely irresistible too. And if you're not prepared for it to blend with your lifestyle, it could get problematic. Their charming personalities can often lead to being a little on the mischievous side, but pugs also want to please their human family. With that being said, they may take much longer to be house-trained. Shutterstock. They also detest being outside, so many try to avoid going outside when it's cold out. Since the beginning of the breed's history, Refiro's Alentijanos were used in packs as hunting dogs, though this function has gradually disappeared over time. More recently, the breed is a guard dog for property and livestock, watching sheep and cattle. The sleek and powerful Rhodesian Ridgeback is distinguished by a streak down its back of reverse growing hair. It is affectionate, intelligent, and child-friendly. However, this dog is not a good fit for most people. Belonging to the LGD Group Livestock Guarding Dog, these dogs are incredibly reliable and loyal to their owners. While these are great qualities, they are accompanied by more aggressive traits. These fluffy white dogs always look like they're grinning because they are. Apparently, their mouth upturned corners keep Sammy's from drooling, which prevented icicles from forming on their face when they were bred as Arctic work dogs. Scotties are tough little dogs that tend to be more on the feisty side. They have a stubborn streak and tend to be fearlessly independent. Because of their stubborn nature, they can be difficult to train because they were bred to work apart from their owner without needing direction. A Scotty won't stop and ask you what to do next, but will do it on his own. 
A defining characteristic of a Sharpei is its wrinkly skin, a trait that is especially pronounced in puppies until they gradually grow into their folded flesh. The folds are cute but prone to infection. Essentially a popular companion dog, the Shiba still has a predatory instinct as it was bred as a hunting dog. The dogs do not take kindly to provocation and can show aggression, but above all, when expressing emotion, these dogs emit what is labeled as the Shiba scream. The Shih Tzu is not an outdoor dog, but it is the perfect companion who will share lots of love with you at home in the apartment. They were bred in China for loyalty and as lap dogs. They are playful and fun-loving, and also mischievous. The Siberian Husky is from Siberia, where it was bred by the Chukchi people to pull sleds. This high-energy dog is not a good couch dog and also not a good backyard dog. They are an intelligent breed easily drawn to mischief and are known to be extremely destructive when bored or left alone. As a representative breed of the K-9 police patrol, German Shepherds are known to be smart and dutiful dogs. The breed was developed in Germany in 1899 for herding livestock, mostly sheep. Soldiers returning from Lee brought German Shepherds home while the beloved Ren Tin Tin became the first. The Phila Brasilero is another dog on the Dangerous Dogs Act and is banned in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Norway, and Denmark, to name a few. It is not recommended for first-time dog owners. Mostly popular in Pakistan, the Boy Kutta is also known as the Indian Mastiff. Like many Mastiffs, Boy Kutta is used as a protection dog. This dog is a barker. Sky Terriers are also avid diggers. It's tough, tenacious, and needs a lot of attention. The Sky is also a relentless cat chaser. Spanish water dogs are a very athletic and high maintenance breed. They need a lot of exercise throughout the day. Originally hailing from Turkey, this breed was imported into Spain to serve as a guard and sheepdog and as such, they are completely loyal. St. Bernard got its name assisting monks high in the Swiss Alps at the St. Bernard Hospice. The monks used the dogs for search and rescue missions to track down lost travelers. These dogs saved thousands of lives. This dog may be easily confused with the pit bull as they share some of the same physical characteristics. Unfortunately, these dogs, like the pit bull and many others, are bred for fighting purposes. The Thai Ridgeback, with its sleek and athletic build, can be formidable hunter and guard dog. Without an experienced dog owner, these dogs can get out of hand pretty quickly. They require a great deal of assertiveness and patience. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a cheerful, intelligent breed that loves children. It's one of the widely recognized Swiss Mountain Dogs. Its thick, long, and silky coat keep him warm in frosty weather. The Boxer is from Germany and is a very strong breed. They can weigh anywhere between 50-70 lbs. They are known to be energetic and playful, which labeled them as being hard to train. By nature, this breed is not typically violent or aggressive. This breed has the potential to be a devoted pet who is loyal to your family, as well as a competent watchdog. The Great Puris tend to be strong-willed and stubborn, however, so a determined training regimen will need to be in place. This particular breed of dog is a cross between another well-known and aggressive breed of dog. The Moscow Watchdog is a cross between a St. Bernard, Caucasian Overarca, and a Caucasian Shepherd. They truly are massive and beautiful to look at. If you're looking for a reliable guard dog, this breed will be right up your alley. In Tibet, these dogs would be chained to a pole for as early as two months only in order to make them aggressive. They would then be used to guard an entire village.
The Weimaraner was bred in Germany during the early 19th century for courage, intelligence, and excellent scenting abilities to hunt large game. They developed a dog with stamina, speed, and hunting versatility to track down prey of all sizes. Like the German Shepherd dog, the Swiss Shepherd is alert, protective, and loves to be challenged with plenty of activity. This dog is more clingy towards the owner, with high energy levels, so plenty of space is needed to move around easily and explore. A wolf hybrid is a dog that has been bred with a wolf. Research has been done, and nothing has proved that more socialization and proper training would make them better house pets. Wolf dogs are less understood than older, traditional breeds. A wolf dog is a cross between a domestic dog and a wild wolf, but the mixed content is uncertain. There is still no consistency of behavior in dogs of this name. The aristocratic demeanor of this elegant-looking creature goes through to its personality. The Afghan hound commands attention rather than seeking it out. Beneath the glamorous, long, and shiny coat, you may be surprised to find a stalwart hunter. The Affenpinscher is German for monkey-like terrier, and it sure lives up to its name. The inquisitive and busy little guy is also known as the Mustachio Devil in France. The toy-sized dog is marked by not just a mustache, but also a beard and bushy eyebrows. At its shoulders is a rough coat cup. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share it with your friends and thank you.